Okay, flat cap here. Every day, you will notice my speech, I have problems. So, because of an injury, I have struggled to get my arm working in the morning. So, I do a lot of sort of doodles to get my arms going. As you can see here, I am just throwing down some shapes randomly. Then, I will add another layer. And then I will draw the faces over them. I do this often. It has helped so much. What it is is where I have to use a walking stick. If I have been walking too far, my arm gets all knotted in all the muscles and it is very difficult for me. But doing this seems to get things loosened up for me. I use <laughs> Sorry, my voice is stuck. Sketchbook Pro. I use Sketchbook Pro. I had to get that out before I forgot what I was going to say. Because of my appalling memory, I like the program because everything is there for me to see. All the tools are in front of me. All the different sorts of things that I will need. Whereas other programs you've got to go searching for them so I forget about them and I forget how to use them. This is the most simplest one for me. It is a very good program. I believe the next version is going to add uh, perspective rulers to it. So that's something to look forward to. Now these cartoon faces I'm doing, they're just being made up, they're not great, they're not fantastic, but what they do do is get me thinking for the day about what I want to do, because I tend to add my cartoons to my mug shop, mug and t-shirt shop, online shop, and this is how I will go about creating the templates for each type of hobby or job or whatever I am doing. At the moment I am waiting for my web designer to upgrade me as he is going to really bring me up to date. I am a bit of a Luddite with things. I, I certainly don't like mobile phones. I never use them. I, I never try speaking to anyone. So anyone that wants to get hold of me has to go through email. You know, it's just easier for me. Now, when I have, what I forgot to say is when I had done my shapes, I had made another layer to draw over bit more accurately but it's still just the roughs you know these are all roughs half of these I won't use again it's just like I say getting my hand moving sometimes I will draw faces caricature faces I will look on the internet and look for some famous film star or something like that and then just quickly draw them and that helps a lot as well it certainly tightens up your thinking and keeps you concentrated on what you're doing because I like I have probably mentioned more than once my memory bloody sucks it is through a stroke and a head in well a head injury a brain bleed that then led to a stroke so I have two choices, never to speak again or just make these films and I add these voiceovers because I can't manage to draw and talk at the same time. That is a step too far at the moment for me but it is helping me to get my speech back better. That is what I am sort of hoping for. On, the, on an up note, when someone like 
stroke association or some other organisation upsets me. I hit the bloody roof and it seems like it, it, things are forgotten and I speak perfectly clear, usually offensive but it is bloody clear and people do understand what I am trying to get across to them. Now these I have now laid added my other layer and I am doing the finals of the roughs yeah. Well, I call them finals, but they still won't be. They're just a bit more, a bit more detailed, you know, better drawing because my hand is not steady at first attempt each day. Now, on this program, there's up there they have a symbol for a steady pen, and I love it. But it, you can, if your line is not too tight. It's brilliant, but if it's a very tight circle, then it is not work too well. But I sort of go between them and back to freehand style. The best program that I've found, really, for the pens, digital pens that you get, is Manga 5. It is absolutely fantastic. But I fall flat on my face because I forget where everything is on it. I, it is something that I persevere with a lot. I try using it bit by bit and hopefully I will get there eventually. But at the moment it is too tempting just to go back to Sketchbook Pro. Now along the top there is all types of tools. Any type of tool you need. There is even their French Curves. I think I, I seem to remember that's what they used to be called years ago for those that remember them. That is a great little asset to this program having them so easy. I can also add an, an image to a layer like a reference layer for me to draw from. So Anyone thinking of getting into digital art should really consider this program. I believe there's other programs, but I've I've got a. Uh, I believe it is called. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, nope, sorry, that's gone. I've totally forgotten. But there. A lot of these programs are a lot cheaper than the big boys like Amazon, uh, Photoshop. I use Photoshop Elements 12 mostly for just editing photos now and working on my web, my online shop. It comes in handy, but for drawing and painting, you can't beat this program, Manga, Painter. Coral Painter, that is a fantastic program as well. Now, as you can see, I am just going to do heads in this thing because I feel I've got an idea in my head what I want to draw for hobbies, and I will be got to keep it into my head so that. When I finish on here, I can go straight onto it and I will still remember it and I'll get a few notes, a quick squiggle down to let me know what I was thinking at the time that I thought about it. And then I will hopefully still remember it by the end of the day when I get round to starting it. I hope you enjoy this short video. I don't claim to be a fantastic artist. But I will say this, when it comes to stubbornness and pig-headedness, I can't be beaten. I never give up. So that is really why I keep drawing. It has helped me so much get over my stroke. And it, it is like meditation really a lot of the time drawing you know it sort of you just forget everything you're so in the zone when you're drawing 
you forget all your other problems like bloody getting down the road without falling over so I can't really think of much else to tell you really there's not a lot there's not a lot really that happens in my life these days got my little dog I sit in here in my drawing room with him I've added a little bobble hat to him but you can probably see that these probably look better closer up so that you can see what I am using I don't know if I had said when I do me layers and I've got drawings on the layer I will lower the opacity so that I can sort of uh, sketch over the top there's a word for it uh, forgotten what it's called now trace yes trace anyway I hope you don't think I am too stupid with my voice and what I say but I do find that it helps me so if you don't mind mind you you could always turn the volume off if you want I don't mind, I, I don't even care if I never heard my voice again, it's so bad. Here I just sort of, I've start, started making like, sort of weird looking duck. I just sort of throw a few lines around really and hope for the best. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to come and see me on YouTube. I stick more films on there really it'd be nice to have someone to chat to or comment with with their drawings or my drawings like I say if you don't give in you can only get better if you keep trying you will get better and I am thinking I will get better eventually but there's a lot to be said for being left handed and having a stroke down the right side it saves a lot of bloody problems well apart from when I got to walk or hold things with my right arm anyway thank you for watching you can probably hear my dog barking now this little bugger in the field behind me the bloody cows are there today it looks nice but bloody racket at times <laughs>